Hello. Hey, thanks for the follow. Mark, thank you so much for the resub. Allison, thank you for for the follow. I appreciate it. Hey, Fox. Hey, Lou. How are, uh, how's everybody doing? I'm still just, like, reeling that Twitch made a new category for, um, hot tubs. <laughs> It's like the funniest thing I've ever heard. I think it's hilarious. Um, I'm gonna get the game loaded up because it's gonna take a like two or three minutes to load in. Uh, don't want to stick around too long since you don't want me spoiled. That's totally okay. No worries. Yeah, have a great night. And thank you again for that resub. I really appreciate it. Ugh, oh, man. Twitch, you guys. They're just doubling down. They're like, we I like I like money. That's Twitch right now. Oh, can't get over this music. I'm, I'm just like i I'm always just like grooving to it every time. Lou, how are you doing? Fox, how are you doing today? Also, Alan's, I, re I realize I per said your name wrong. My bad. I'm really bad with names. I'm bad at reading. I'm just <laughs> all around. <laughs> But you guys, you guys have been good to me. I wasn't kidding about how long this takes to load. I really wasn't. Hanging out, we're, um, working on some crochet. Oh, nice. I, I, I feel like that's come up before. I feel like I knew that you do crochet. I do some knitting, but not a lot. Um, it has been a long time. Wow, stream elements jumping right in there. That is set up for like 30 minutes. I don't know what it's thinking. Maybe it's counting the my offline time. Oh, there we go. And then we still have to like give it a minute to like really like load all in all the assets. I'm trying to even remember where we left off. I have Welcome goals to today. Captain. All right. Oh yeah, we want to try to find this plant. And I have a hunch. I have an idea. I was stewing on it for a little while. So I want to go to some other areas and see what we can find. Uh, I don't even think I really need anything. I think I'm ready to just, to just go. Come here. Get my... All right, we gotta back it up. Go down. Down a little. Back it up. Oh, we missed. There it is. It's on the side. Nope, it's not. There's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be. Maybe I have to detach, detach our ship components like prior to coming over here. There we go. We got it. Oh my god, it's in such low repair. I guess we'll fix it before we do anything. I swear, 90% of this game is maintenance. We've looked through this whole area for this uh, plant, and we haven't found it, so I think we need to go further out 
and I want to go back over this way to the pilot's last known position. Maybe I'll get lucky. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what a pretty game. Also, I don't know about you guys, but it is like, it's beautiful where I am right now. Just like absolutely gorgeous. But I have not had the motivation to like go anywhere or do anything. I'm just like, nope, I'd so much rather stay inside and play video games. Nope, not that. I have no idea what I'm looking for. I expect it's gonna be a plant that grows in a spiral pattern. And this is an area that I haven't really looked through yet, I guess, but it doesn't even seem like there's any plants here. There's just a lot of angry fish. Hey, orc. Welcome in. How are you doing? I, I like, I was just saying a minute ago that the, the hot, uh, hot tub streams becoming like an actual thing is the funniest shit I've ever heard. But, like, now you, you have a whole category that you can stream to. Just riding out these hot tub memes until it dies. <laughs> I don't know if it will die. Like, this is, like, a thing now. Twitch has, like, made it a thing. Like, they just embraced it. They were like, we like money. We like money. Yes. Like, I wonder how much money comes in from those streams. You'll be on the lookout for the next big thing so you can create more content. <laughs> hey, your content is great. It always makes me laugh. Anytime. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where the stuff I need is. What's this? This looks kind of spirally. People really appreciate the under underwear raids. <laughs> Man, your um, your dance video raids like. That legit makes me want to, like, put more effort into my, like, trailers and, uh, and all that that I just don't have on my stream. Like a welcome video or whatever. Or, like, some people have, um... Some people have those, like, videos when you get raided, and it's like, oh, well, here's who I am. Here's a little bit about me. A bunch of clips and stuff. Or a BRB video. Still don't have a lot of that stuff, just adding one piece at a time. Yeah, but it's, it's cool. It's awesome. This doesn't feel right. I don't know. Game, please. We just need this one thing. And I don't know anything about it.
Uh, I don't think I've been here. This looks new to me. Ugh! Ugh! It surprised me. Ugh, fuck. Thought about streaming today, but your body said nope. Make it up tomorrow. Yeah. I, like... I could never do a schedule because I I can only stream when I feel like it. I can never push myself through it when I'm in a bad mood because I just like, I just get kind of like irritated at everything and that's just like not fun to watch. I don't know. Oh shit, I want to be famous. What? All right, <laughs> and we're back. Um, don't want to force it. So you're just not streaming. But you do know! I was in, um, uh, whose who's was it? I think it was Allie's stream or something, and both Garlic and I were in the chat. And, and someone came in, like, you know, some bot. Um, ooh, what? Fruit? That's cool. Um, and we both hit the ban at the same time, and so Garlic banned them, and then I unbanned them. And it was like, wait, Rachel wants to be famous! Take it back! Uh, I wanna go in here. Can I go in, please? That's cool. I, I want those plants. I'm gonna take some with us because I want to make a planter in our in our home base. I also oh here we go. Is this how we get in? No, it is not. I want to get in. Let me in. Let me in. Aha yeah. Oh, I need some water. But yeah, I don't know. I like I don't feel like I'm an entertainer. Like I don't feel like that's a thing that really like comes naturally to me. And so I can never do it if I'm not like in a good mood. I'll read that in a minute. Water filtration tank. Hell yeah. Oh, I learned something crazy about the uh the first Subnautica. I don't know if many people in here played that compared to this game, but, um, I always thought I was, like, farming fish to extinction <clears throat> in the first game because after a while they just, like, stopped spawning. I was like, oh shit, they've got, we've gotta, gotta breed the fish or something, make sure we get enough. Um, turns out that there was actually a bug in the game that once you got um, the a certain number of required items, it would just stop spawning it. And then they fixed the bug. And I was like, huh, I don't know how I feel about that. Because before, before it felt like... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. I don't know, a good progression of like, oh, well, you're ruining the ecosystem. You've got to create something more sustainable. Where is my boat? There it is. Oxygen. I still think it's crazy that they, like, patched that out. Also, with all the joking that I do about the hot tub streams, I like absolutely no shade to the people that that run them and do them. Like to each their own totally like I I am I am pro sex work and letting people decide for themselves how they want to make their money. Um I just think it's funny how Twitch 
is responding to the whole thing. Yeah, they're, yeah, respect the hustle. Exactly. I saw something to scan and now I can't find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Lots of stuff to scan in here. Let's refill our air. Maybe I'll bring the the sea truck over here. Oh, answer. Do you know what it would have been used for? Look like Navy bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it, or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would. But the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Hmm. The sister comment kind of feels like it came out of nowhere. Like, we haven't heard mention of her in a very long time, and now all of a sudden it's like, did she do this? Unless I just missed something. Oh, maybe... was that her? I'm not sure. I want the art. Give me all the art. Flirting. Oh, we're gonna read that. Oh, we got so many things to read. Alright, let's go back out. I didn't really need to sit down. Got our bulkhead door. Oh yeah, the water filtration system is going to be amazing. Nuclear reactor is super cool too. Um, oh yeah, the crinite we found. Squid shark. Cool. So we're definitely going to want to bring some of these seeds back so we can plant them and just have, like, a food source that's not fish, because oh my god. They're kind of annoying to farm all the time. Logs. Let's start at the top. Uh, well, that was the last one we picked up. We'll start at the bottom. Focus. The task revolution. The key to total uninterrupted focus on what's important is the ability to unfocus on the unimportant. The ultimate goal of concentration is not to block out surrounding environments, but to maintain total focus in spite of them. See, this is why I'll have Twitch up while I'm working. <laughs> um, they will be there. You must not only, uh, you must, you must be not only better than them, but decoupled from them. You've heard of multitasking, now get ready for monotasking. Studies have shown that humans, even the most capable among us, cannot focus on two activities at once to the extent required to complete them optimally and thoroughly. Multitasking is an illusion to make you think uh, you're more, you're getting more done when in reality you're most likely neglecting one task or the other. Monotasking reject rejects the notion that humans should even bother trying to multitask. 
as not only does it hinder productivity, but it increases stress and even guilt when it doesn't yield higher productivity. You, oh expert task revolutionary, have no time for systems that do not work. So let's explore monotasking more in the next chapter. I feel attacked right now. Um, I think this was written uh, to me. I think this was written about me, and it hurts. Alexis Rydell. We've studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. The Leviathan site? I think we scanned everything. I think we got it all. I thought there was a room that got missed, but... Maybe not. All right, well, let's grab a couple of these. Uh, we don't need any more ribbon plants. I think we've got a lot of those. Hey, Hypno Crown. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. That, this, this is, these are hard to clip on. <laughs> I'm just pushing it around. Maybe it's backwards? You're doing great, glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, it's Friday. Friday, we're, we're just uh, winding down from work. Um, you know. How are the kitties? The kitties are doing good. They're also chilling. I don't have any in here right now, shockingly. Oh, that's a lie. That's a lie. Harvey's in the window. Hey, Harvey. Come here, buddy. No, he's, he's a little annoyed with me today because I picked him up. Picked him up earlier. Held him up during a meeting at work. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that fish today. Oh, man. I'm just... It is actually a goal now to crash into every single wall. Every wall there could be. I'm going to make this ship find it. <laughs> yeah, hard... He's a cutie, Harvey. He says hello back, I'm sure. Just from afar. So right now we're trying to find some plant. In the top right here, there's a, a piece of, like, red coral. Uh, and I need that to be able to make both of those items. And I just, like, can't find it. Warning. Maximum oh. depth reached. Oopsie daisies. Hey, 
If Harvey's annoyed. I, he might say hi to you, just not me. He might come over at some point, though. He's usually pretty social. Oh, this is the this is the strongest plant in existence. Have you played this game before? Oh, that guy's cool. I think we saw one of those. I think I remember that guy being, like, super dangerous. But seahorse-looking thing is cool. Gonna drop a lurk because of work? Yeah, sounds good. Have, um, I hope the rest of your workday goes well. Uh, yeah, and I appreciate the good lucks. We're just gonna find this goddamn plant. Or else. Only played the first Subnautica, couldn't get into it. Um, the free one on the play at home, gotcha. I'm getting disoriented. Where am I? in this area. I remember. I think we do want to start going back this way. I want to go down, but I don't feel like I have enough uh, depth yet. And I, my suspicion, my, my feelings are that the plant that I'm looking for is going to be on the surface level. I don't know if that's correct, but that's how I feel. <laughs> that is a hunch that I have. I kind of want to go back to the volcanic area and we'll see what comes up. And if this doesn't work, then we'll just start going deeper again. Was there another log we can listen to? Uh... Let's hear for a moment. I challenged your spy pengling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. Aw. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, mm -hmm. I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. That's so cute. That's adorable. Oh, we're 
here. All right, let's try going under here. It's this cave. I feel like I was supposed to come in here in the ship. This was probably a bad idea. Alright, going deeper is the next plan. Might as well repair the ship, since I banged it up again. And there's so many minerals around here. There's just like a little bit of everything. But none of what I need. Whoa. What's this? This is cool. I like that all of the wrecks in this game are, like, substantially worse. That doesn't really look like an entrance, but I'll try. Oh, I guess it is. Laser cutter. We need that. I like that there's a, a plant in there. Oh god, this is gonna get very easy to get lost. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, cool. Okay, so we found a different exit. It's good to know. I hope that these will be okay and not die. Oh, nice. We went that way, we went down, and then I think we went down again. Yeah. Got a battery. I never am going to need to make batteries again, I've had so many handed to us.
Alright, we got another way out there. Still have a little bit of time. Some copper. I like that we find more random resources in this game. I think that's really cool. Ah, another way out. Alright, well let's get some oxygen. going in this way, see if we notice anything else. That seems like most of it, unless there's a different entrance somewhere that I haven't been to. It's like a whole different area, maybe. I'm still missing one laser cutter fragment, so like, I feel like there should be at least one area left that I haven't seen. very convenient. Oh, here we go. We do need to get back. No laser cutter fragment, but at least we got that other log. Seal the access. There we go. It's like, how do I get out of here? There's doors everywhere. It's, what a cool little area. But I just, I like that everything is much more decayed now. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, ah. So I got that battery. Look at all this stuff. Altera, more logs. Oh, uh, Danny's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk, you know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like a Rob, but Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder? <sighs> right, fine, fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. The 
This is different. Viscous fish. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. Whoa. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set the picnic there and said, I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part? managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but hmm, maybe it isn't so bad. What the fuck the is this? Harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. What? What is this? What the fuck? Is this alive? Is it well it's like it's alive, but is it like a plant? Rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. What the hell is this? Wait, I can. Oh, my God. is suspiciously red. What about these? Ah! This is creepy. Creepy as hell. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. I want to read about this. Got our little fish here.
Leviathan. It's a vent garden. The vent garden is a stationary leviathan that anchors itself above thermal vents and houses aquatic flora inside its bell-shaped interior, anchoring tentacles. Six tentacles anchor the vent garden to the seafloor around vents. Each tentacle is capped by a set of thick, curved hooks that grow downwards, keeping the vent firmly in place. Transparent bell. The hollow bell of the vent garden has a narrow opening large enough to accommodate human entry. The vent garden feeds on thermophilic bacteria and other microorganisms that spew from the vent below. The top of the bell has an opening that continuously releases water to maintain a constant, uh, consistent internal pressure. Symbiotic relationship. The bell houses branching platforms that resemble coral. These platforms containing aquatic flora that remain safe from foraging uh, herbivorous fish. In turn, the flora absorb and synthesize some of the heavy metals and gases emitted by the vents below. Assessment. Docile, nutrient-rich harbors flora. Hmm. Interesting. I know I can't go down very much. But... We can maybe see what's going on in here? found the lava. Oh, shit. Gimme. Booster tank. New blueprint synthesized. PDA. This is crazy. I'm surprised I couldn't do anything in there. I don't know. We already have all this, yeah. But it might still be useful to look around a little. go back in a second. Ugh, we gotta go back. Fuck. This is cool, though. I think we came in this way.
warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Dislike that fish. I'm gonna go back in there. Oh, that's so freaky. Did that do something? No, I think it just does that. Oh, you can't get me! Neener, neener, neener. Oh my god, look at its jaws. Ugh. Not a fan of that. Spiral plant. Hold up. Inventory full. All right. Drop all the titanium. I don't need it. I need this. Yes! I knew there was something in here that we needed. You can't get me. Inventory full. Alright. Where's my ship? There she is. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad we got that. Oh, thank god. Alright, we're going home, and then we're gonna go deeper. Let me go. Let go. Sir, we're leaving. Don't mind us. We're getting out. Oh, I'm so glad we found the spiral plant. That was lucky. Oh, is that another one? Is that one that's, like, looking for somewhere to take root? It's homeless. It's trying to find a- find a place for itself. Did we go in this one? I don't think we did. I'm getting so sidetracked. Maybe we have gone to this one. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I think this is the same one. Yeah, this is the same one for sure. Okay. I I kind of love these things. They float around until they find a vent, and then they just squat over it. And they're like, this is it. This is where I stay. Oh man, you know what I might treat myself to uh, tonight is either bake something, or more likely make like a brownie in a mug. I've been doing that a bit more recently, doing that, like, brownie ingredients and throw it in the microwave. And it hits the spot, let me tell you.
home sweet home. I wonder if there's a hotkey to like detach my my uh little trunk attachments. Welcome aboard, Captain. Cause that's just silly that it just like knocks them off. All right, well, we got a few things we can make. Also, someone told me that we can plant this coral, so I guess we'll make a, a pot to something outside. Exterior, I guess we'll do a growth bed. Red wart seed. I don't remember picking that up. It's okay. Um, let's go over here. We'll dump some of these things that I don't need to hold right now. Uh, I need a tissue. One moment. those things down. We'll grab some titanium. And then we'll go outside. And we'll build some stuff. Build a growth bed. Alright. Can I just put it right here? Why not? The grow bed lets you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. Why not? Dang. Because those were definitely outside. They just didn't- they didn't make it. That is too bad. We'll have to go get more. That is a real bummer. Alright. Drop. I'm sorry. What a waste. Actually, we can put them in. They're not completely waste. Wasted. We can put them in the uh, bioreactor. <laughs> Maybe I should try. Actually, the bioreactor, like, I don't know if this is bugged, but I've never had to fill this. Hey, Allie. How are you doing? Happy Friday. A little grow bed. Can I plant this in here? Nope. Well, now we just got some grass. If we ever get a cat, it'll be very happy. Um. Well, let's make some of this stuff we gotta make. Synthetic fibers! Yeah, happy Friday. Needed a Friday. Uh, need... That is special glass. That is enameled glass. Alright. Should have everything we need for that. Enamel glass, lead, and diamond. I said at, during the last stream that I was going to spend like 15 minutes off stream going through and organizing all of this so that I wouldn't be like clicking through each locker, and I didn't do that, as you can tell. So I'm like, where's the lead? Do I have any lead? I don't have any lead. I have to go get some. <laughs> uh, 
Allie, if you decide to pick this up and play it, have a better organization system than I do. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> because this is madness. Finished a workout made of rum and coke? Oh, that sounds so good. I haven't had a drink in a long time, and not even, like, intentionally avoiding alcohol. Um, I just... I, I guess alcohol is pretty high in calories, so I was avoiding it for that reason. Maybe I'll make a cocktail or something tonight. That actually sounds really good. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make a cocktail during my next break. I'll just like really quickly whip something together. Have a drink with you one day? I would love to, Allie. Well, if we get things together with our meetup. Lead? Damn it. No, no, go away. Have a bottle of rum and whiskey, and it's gonna last forever because you don't drink often either. Yeah, that's the thing, is like... So, like, alcohol doesn't go bad, right? But it does lose its, um... Uh... A bit of its flavor... When it's exposed to oxygen for too long. And so if you... If you have, like, a mostly full bottle of liquor it'll last longer than a mostly empty bottle because there's just more air. So like, I have these bottles of like, really nice rum that I barely touch. And I just like, the last time I tried it, I'm like, this doesn't taste as good. This is also silver. Inventory full. God damn it. Well, you know what? I don't need these because reasons. Good to know. Yeah, it was a small tidbit that I, I mean, I think the difference is minimal. Like you can like very, especially if you're making cocktails with it and not drinking it straight. Like, I don't think you would really notice the difference of having it like air out. Um, or go stale, I guess you could call it. But I guess it's a good thing to keep in mind if you're ever, like, super bougie about your, about your drinks. You wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, I think I only noticed the difference when I was just, like, tasting the rum on its own. Um. Hey, finally. It'd be nice to get, like, another one, so that I don't have to come back here. Um, but yeah, I, lear I learned a lot of random kind of, like, fun facts like that when I was working at the tea shop, because we had a, a guest from Privateer Rum, a brewery that's in Boston, uh, come in and talk about making cocktails with tea. Um, and it was super cool, and so they're, they're like, very educated about all of it. So much titanium! I just want the lead. Please. There we go. Um, you gotta go? I'll say- yeah, say hi to the kitties. Thanks, uh, thanks for the good luck with the stream. Have a great weekend. Thanks for stopping in and saying hello. Nice to see ya. I'll definitely give the kitties a good pet for you. Oh, Harvey is still in here. 
I didn't notice that he sprawled out. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's sleeping. Hold up. Hold up. Can you see him twitching? He's like very subtly twitching. Is Pauser doing the thing? I don't know if he's too too far away to really be able to see it. His his eye is like slightly open and it's just got that like that cat second eyelid. It's like totally covering it. I'd move the camera, but it would just be a pain to set it back up because it's like balanced where it is. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. Oh, what a cutie. Okay. Oh, I, I rolled over my headphone. That's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay. The game will pop back in in a second. There it goes. Okay. Uh, you used to drink way too much, but lately you've been drinking less. Hey, well, that's... I am, I am proud of you for recognizing it. And, um... And and doing doing what's best for you. I uh, when I was in college, um, I I smoke I smoked way too much pot. Um, I mean I went to art school. Uh, so it was just kind of like everywhere. Um, and. After a while, I, like, realized that it was actually, like, getting in the way of my life, you know? Um, it was, like, a daily thing that, you know, you'd wake up, you smoke a bowl. Um, and I kind of realized that it was... I was using it as, like, a coping mechanism for other stuff that I had going on. no such thing um it, everything in moderation right it's it's like yeah it's it's i don't think it by itself is bad Ooh, ooh, we're making that right now i have to drop some of this stuff so that i can unequip my tank Yes. Equipped with only a booster tank, Dr. Felicity Aman once escaped the underwater acid tentacle forest on planet Alpha 671. Oh, yes, we did it. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, let's get the upgrade thing out of here. Gimme. Oops. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, here? No? Man, we got everything for the prawn suit except the prawn suit. Uh, oh, it must be in the modification station. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Harvey woke up. Oh, he's stretching. Hey, buddy. What a good cat. Oh. I have, like, fully wrapped my headphone cord around my desk chair. It's it's only a matter of time until I uh, it breaks. Should get some food. Some water. Actually, I might be able to go straight to the next depth module because I have the I have I have all of this. I have all of this. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's pin it though so I don't have to look at it. Pull it up quite as often. Uh, I know I need that. Intake. 
Now, this is more important game. Uh, need to find that last piece there. Started smoking as a way to battle your anxiety. Uh, it really helped a lot. So you have a soft spot. Gotcha. Yeah, so I, um, when I was struggling more with, um, stuff I was going through a couple years ago, um, I started using, like, CBD a lot. Um, one of, like, the little pens. So, like, not psychoactive or anything. Um, so I would, like, use it to help me get out to go to work. That kind of thing. Um, and it could have all been placebo to me, but regardless, it, it helped. Whether it was or wasn't. And then we need nickel. Is the nickel in here too? I know we have it. Yeah. Yes! I love when you just skip a whole step. <laughs> Who needs the second module? We can just go straight to the third one. Also, I don't know if I have those fins. I don't. Do I have what I need to make them? Young cotton and enemy. I don't think I have that. I'll pin it though, so we can keep an eye out for it. I'll pin that too. Okay. You can see I like where I started to name stuff. Two titanium. I need to make um, another like room to this soon. I think our base is getting crowded. So let's see. Titanium. I know what I did. Let's take these out. Let's take that out. Let's take that out. In here. Copper. Seek fluid intake immediately. Uh, oh, that's right. I will just actually die. Vital signs stabilizing. They're like, please listen to us. It's really important. I should make these fish into stuff. Let's do... I don't have a whole lot of copper. So why don't we do, like, copper and... Quartz? Take the lithium out. Uh, lith. Get all the lithium in there. Okay. Got plenty of stuff that's not gold and silver in here. in here. It's just more plants. We'll put diamond in here, maybe? Okay. Oh, copper, we can put the copper wire in here. The titanium, we'll put in here. Maybe we'll do titanium and lead, because I don't have very much lead.
This is this is what you all signed up for. Is all of this inventory management. Magnetite. I don't even remember picking that up, but that's exciting. So we got organics. This is going to be more organics. Gotta love the inventory management. Yeah. Uh... We'll take the diamond out. Take the diamond out. We'll take the titanium out. We just, we gotta group it together at least a little bit. It's just such a mess right now. I can never find anything, and I hate clicking through everything just to find one thing. I think that's a good spot. The quartz we had for, oh, and the copper we have somewhere else. Perfect. Lithium goes in here. Diamond. Take this stuff out. And then you are going to get a bunch of this stuff. Probably not these. This is ruby and sulfur. That one's just more fish and stuff. Oh, so much better already. I can already just like hell. <laughs> this could, the organics could be a little better, but we'll, we'll get there. One thing at a time. Um, we just need one more locker. Okay. No worries, you spent a good amount of time yesterday with your inventory. Uh, and you were like, yikes. Yeah. I mean, at, at some point, you just gotta play the game, right? Like. I'll just put rare. <laughs> Everything else. The super hard to get shit. Silver and gold, and then in here, it's kind of random stuff. Just live. Just live your life. Yeah, I like... Uh, I've spent a lot of time thinking about what... Oh, one of these should be... One of these has got to be food, and it's going to be this one. This one is food. Food. Plants. Organic. We're just we're doing it. We're just fucking doing it. Um, the last couple of days, uh, I've been wondering, like, well, what should I stream? What do people want to see? And that doesn't really matter, I don't think. I should just play things that I want to play and do what I want to do, because I'm not an entertainer. I'm just, I'm just someone playing video games. So, I should just play video games. Let's make all these fish into food. Yeah. Yeah, gotta, gotta do what you want. I think, um, I think Outer Wilds spoiled me a little bit by just getting a bunch of people in, in chat and in... Um, uh, like a bunch of new followers, having like a higher viewer count. It was like, I got very used to that um, by playing that game for a couple of weeks. Um, and so now it's kind of like, 
I was thinking, what can I play next to maintain that, right? But that's just, that's not the hustle I want. I'm just here to have fun. And I won't have fun if I'm not playing games that I like. You had the same dilemma. You thought you had to force yourself to play Mortal Kombat when you didn't want to. I can see that. Variety fighting gamer a game streamer now. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. I think we can put these in here. These can go in here. This random miscellaneous stuff can go in here. I'll take these out. Take that out. Take the copper out. We'll put that in. I should craft these into something so they're not taking up so much space. copper in here. Uh, these ion cubes were in here? Yeah, they were. And then I think we're, I think we're pretty much good. Yeah, I got, got all the plants, all the food. Let's at least break this down. Variety streamers unite. See, that's like just so much better, just so much less stuff, and now I just have them crafted in advance. Extra power cell. Oh yeah, we have the power cell recharger now too. And I'm gonna I'm gonna catch a couple fish, and then we're gonna go down. We're gonna try to find where we were in the last stream because I really want to find that Leviathan that we saw. Like I just am so crazy interested. Cruise depth a thousand meters. Oh my god! We had 300 before. We can go wherever we want. We can do anything. Harvey's so fucking cute right now, too. You guys see this? I'm trying to, like, not be in the way so that you can see him. What a precious boy. You grabbed quesadillas for dinner? Hell yeah. My dinner was pretty good. I, um, I've started, like, cooking myself more. Also, I'm, I'm getting paranoid about this cable, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fix it. There we go. Much better. But yeah, I've, I've, uh, so I was using what it, whatever it was. One of those meal kits, you know? Hello Fresh. I was using that for a while. Like, a couple months. Um, I tried some of the other ones, too. Like, Green Chef. Like, they're all the same, right? But... I really, really liked it until I got to a point that I realized I was buying recipes that I had memorized, like, in my kit. And the ones that I was most looking forward to were the ones that I could very easily cook for myself. So I canceled all my subscriptions 
and I started just like going to the grocery store. Now that I have my car back, that was the, that was the big hindrance before, so that I didn't have a car. Um, and so now I'm just like going and buying all the ingredients that I need and spending like a fraction of the cost to get twice as much food. I really like cooking. And I feel like I've gotten a lot better at it because of those services. You're gonna get uh, some tortilla wraps tomorrow so you can make some at home? Hell yeah. Um, and really, like, those meal kits, they're, they're not, like, that expensive. But the problem that I was running into was that I was getting the meal kits, I was also grocery shopping, and I was uh, getting takeout like once or twice a week. And it just like added up so quickly. Suddenly I realized I was spending like, you know, a couple hundred bucks a week on food. Cooking is fun, cleaning less so. Yeah, that's for sure. At first I thought, um, leave me alone, go away. When talking about apartment stuff with uh, KY, he said that one of his like must-haves is a dishwasher, and that surprised me because I'm like, you can get by without a dishwasher. And then I like realized how many dishes I go through in a day. And I was like, oh, actually, I can see why. more food fish would be nice. You have a dishwasher and you never use it? I I think if I lived completely by myself Morning. I wouldn't 30 use it. Seconds of oxygen remaining. But as soon as you're cooking with other people it's it's very nice to have. Welcome aboard, Captain. Couple more peepers maybe? Wouldn't you know, this is the maintenance stream? I hope that's what you all were here for. <laughs> that's Subnautica. Let's get a little bit of salt and then I'll cure some stuff and then I'll leave. Then we're gonna go deep. Odin, hello! Thank you so much for the lurk, how are you doing? This game is stunning. It is so beautiful. Um, I'm finally starting to get to some of like the really deep, hard to get to areas. Um, and and I'm like very over eager to just go and and do it, but I, I like need to get some food first. I highly recommend the game. Have you you haven't played the first one, right? Because you'd probably really like the first one as well as this one. Like, I, I, it's a sequel, I guess. This one takes place in the future, but it, they're not really related to one another at all. Or at least not in any way that I think is important. Have you finished, um... Oh, I know you said you were lurking, so, so... No, no pressure to respond. But did you finish Ori? Because you were getting kind of close the last time I, I checked. You're on the second one now, right? Water's a deep fear of yours. Gotcha. Yeah, so this game... I don't find it to be too scary, but I'm not too scared of these underwater biomes. I think that this is one of those games that's not meant to be a horror game, but a lot of people consider it one because of the phobia of underwater things. You're a third of the way through the second one. Nice. I, I love the Ori games. I think they're so good. Have to lurk for real? Yeah! Have a great night. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Hey, 
Any more salt? I just need a couple more pieces of salt. Oh, we actually, I think we have the blueprints for the water filtration machine now. Oh. Oh, I'm like pretty sure that we do. Which, in that case, I'm just gonna grab some of my regular food. Oh, here we go. That makes me feel better. I'm not gonna build it right now, but I'll build it when we get back from our next delve into the deep. Because I really, really want to test out this new depth module. Ellie, you came for me and that's, uh, that's what you're getting, so you're good. Aw, you're so sweet. Allie, I want to make you a fancy cocktail. One day. Water for days. I never want to part, uh, a farm for fish ever again. Making water underwater. Genius. <laughs> for real, though. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Cured food. Food. Cured food. Cured beeper. We did it. We have enough. We have enough for uh, forever. We'll just stuff these these live fish into these. Of course, they won't all fit. See, this is what happens: is I do this like extravagant. Maybe it's time to take down the poster. No, no, I'm not doing it. I refuse. Uh, well, we'll want a couple of those. So I'll put those fish in there. Um, I'll just put the salt in here. We're gonna eat this. Oh, whoops. We're gonna eat this fish. We're gonna drink this water. And we're gonna grab a couple more waters. That should be plenty. Uh, and then... The last thing we're gonna do is swap out a battery. We did it! We're leaving. It is time... We're gonna immediately crash our ship. We want to go to the pilot's last known location. We're going. Whew. Little nervous. The last time we went here, it was the the big Leviathan, like a big one. Um and it was just way off in the distance. And it freaked me the fuck out. It was an area I was, like, not expecting us to get to. And then the dangers were there. Allie, what are you thinking of playing after you finish Mass Effect? I don't know how long that game is. I think it's kind of long, right? Andromeda. I haven't actually seen that. I have no idea what to play after I finish this game. I like... 
The only thing that I have on my mind is... Oh, it's the Mass Effect one-off. Okay. Um, the only game I have on my mind is there's one other game by the people who did Life is Strange that I haven't played. Um, but it didn't get nearly as good reviews. It got kind of bad reviews, to be honest. Um, but I'm curious about it anyways. And it's like, it's like a PlayStation exclusive or something. So it's just like on no one's radar. What? These are the strongest plants ever. Alright, we're going down. You have a whole list in your head? Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I, I find it hard to pick games, uh, often. I'm just trying to, like, if it's not a sequel, if it's not something I'm really, like, familiar with already, I don't really think of it. Sorry, I didn't mean to just ram you. These plants. How did we get to where we were before? Maybe it wasn't over here. Maybe it was somewhere else. Uh, PlayStation exclusives. You have so many you want to play. Yeah. I hear you. This seems promising. Oh, we can go so far down. It's amazing. God, we can actually, like, spend some fucking time down here. Oh, I think we need those plants. Hold up. Yeah, these are what we need for the acid. What? 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck that. Fuck those things. That was some bullshit. I hate them. Yeah. Plants. I bet we can grow more of those, too. Loop plant. Everyone was playing Loop Hero for a minute, and I didn't really... I didn't see enough of it to really understand how it worked. Um, and then Luffy explained it to me a little bit, and it helped. But, like, just watching it, I had no idea what was going on. It looks like a flower. This looks like some weird ass flower. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, did it again! God damn it. Oh god, is it gonna kill me? Fuck, that was close. I need to be more careful. Let's just go ahead and eat this so that my health will regenerate a little bit. Cotton and enemy. Got some nickel. Hell yeah. You watched some of it on KY's stream, but it wasn't for you. Yeah, I don't think it's something I'd really want to play, but I was, like, curious about it. There are a few other games on my list. There's a bunch of games that just, like, piqued my interest. I, I actually, 
the demo for Steer Spirit Fair I wanted to check out because it's a free demo. Like, why not? I see alien stuff. I'm just, like, waiting for something bigger to show up. <laughs> Makes me nervous. I wonder what that is. Floating spore. I'll take it, why not? Ooh, blueprint synthesized. Well, that means I need it for a recipe, and I'll take a few of them. Oh, god damn it, again. If that happens again, I might die. I didn't even see it. Man, maybe I'll, like, grab a- I kind of want to grab a lot of stuff because I don't want to, uh, like, have to come back down here, uh, for a while. And we've got all this nice storage, so it seems like the game kind of accounted for that. They were like, just bring your storage guy. This is interesting. This I want to see. Let's grab the diamond. Why not? Whoa. This is... What's this? Ornamental plant? Ancient. This skeleton is very dense. Able to handle heavy forces. A good friend for my new phone. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. That's cool. I'm gonna stomp all over it. How cool looking! Neat! Well, let's definitely wander around a little, because there's gotta be more here. Also, I hate you. I hate that. I hate them. me nervous. I was like, I have one extra power cell and that's it. I don't think I need to be in here. E. Don't worry about me, man.
What are those? What are those little guys? Okay. Repair the ship for a minute. Oh, it's an egg. It just looks like a creature. Magnetite. Gonna need more of this. Eventually. The music in this game seems so much more diverse than the first game. Maybe I just think that because I've listened to the first one so much. The the first game really had some like music that made it into my um my work routine or driving. Oh my gosh. I loved driving and listening to the Subnautica soundtrack. Yeah, this place is gorgeous. My gosh. But how do we get out? That is the real question. How did we get in here? And we're only at like half of our cruising depth Ooh, I wonder if we'll be able to get to these artifacts now. Ah, it's weird how they move. This feels like how we got to the... That alien base. That... Although it was more of a shrine. Okay, so don't come in here. There's no reason to. going up, then we must go out, eventually. This doesn't really feel right. How did I get in here? Love when a game soundtrack can do that for you. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, thank God. We did it. Oh, we made it. Woo. stuck. There we go. Okay. Oh. 
So, that other place that I really want to go to had the Leviathan. question is how we get back there because it was maybe I think it was like over this way it wasn't directly back towards the house but it was over by the lava area I'm gonna have to start putting more beacons out just so I can keep track of things make note of where I've been Oh, it's a whale. He's stuck. Bent him. I can't believe that a single fish can, like, damage your hull. Yeah, it was in, like, this area. Tough-ass fish. You said it. Oh, just leave me alone. Jess! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid. Here, I'll give you guys a second to come in. Well, just a moment. Jess, thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Hello. How are you doing? Allie, could we get a shout out for Jess here? Thank you so much for the vits. Thank you. Za... Zakaira... Zak... Um, <laughs> uh, Zakira. Please let me know if I'm saying it wrong. I'm so bad with names. Zach is good? Okay, cool. I like... I get, I get nervous when I say people's names. Thank you all for saying hello. Shadowcon. Bryzer. Welcome in, everybody. I should introduce myself. Uh, I'm Ray. I am a variety streamer. Um, currently playing Subnautica, clearly. Uh, I'm a relatively new streamer. I've, I've only been streaming for a couple of months, so um, I'm still kind of getting the hang of it, you know? Um, but we've been having a good time. How was your stream? You were playing, oh, Ari Village? How do you like it? I've only been hearing great things about it. But I haven't played it myself. Super fun. Cool. I've watched a couple of people playing. Just say it boldly regardless. Yeah, as long as you're confident, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it, right? I don't know where we're going right now, but we have this new depth module. Uh, before we could only go to 300 meters and now we can go to a thousand. So I'm just like really eager to go as far down as we can go. I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna find out. If you're turned off by gross stuff, it's pretty gory, but the gameplay is fantastic. Yeah, I, I can deal with gore. Gore doesn't bother me too much. This, this doesn't feel good. I, this makes me nervous. I don't know where we're going, but it is barren. And I feel like we're gonna get a Leviathan. But we can go another 500 meters, so. Warning. Entering ecological death zone. The prospect for survival is fast approaching zero. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what? We don't need this. We don't need this. This, this, you know what? I made a mistake. We don't need to be here. Let me go. Let me go. I want to go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't need this. This game looks more beautiful than you remember. Yeah, so this is, I mean, clearly, this is 
absolutely stunning landscape here. We really uh, have a lot to drink in in this ecological dead zone. But no, it is an absolutely stunning game once we get back to some of the some of the prettier areas, you know. Um, and this is the second one. So this is Subnautica Below Zero, which just launched uh, out of uh, out of its uh, early access last Friday. So that's why I've been so into it. Highly recommend the game for sure. Yeah, it's... I like, I don't play horror games too much, but that game seems more story-driven than horror, so I might be into it. Um. An active volcano detected nearby. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Got some more fish. Inactive volcano. Oh, is that what this is? Oh, here we go. Finally finding this artifact. So is this a sequel or is it the next gen expansion? So could provide useful information. Processing. Uh so so Matt, this is um Um, so I think this is technically a sequel. Um, How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... Warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient. Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Okay, sorry, I don't like talking over the game. Um, so, this game takes place two years in the future from the first Subnautica, and it's on the same planet. No! Leave us alone! God damn it, these guys are just, they're just kind of annoying, these guys. They don't really do much. They do a little damage, but they don't, like, kill you outright. Um, uh, but yeah, two years in the future, on the same planet, all new characters. Um, how rude, interrupting my speech. Yeah, uh, Jess, thank you again for the raid. Enjoy your dinner. Um, I hope it's delicious. This is bad. This is getting bad. Now, now we're in trouble. Now, now we're getting in trouble. Matt, thank you for the follow. Uh, there's so much happening in this game that it's hard to talk at the same time. Um, kind of bounced off the original Subnautica but you'll give the sequel a chance if only for um, if only for those improvements. Yeah, so they, they improved a lot of small things that have a big quality of life impact. So like right at the top right corner, um, there is that recipe guide. So you can like pin stuff. Um, and just being able to like pin recipes is so huge. What's up with this? Oh, it's an iceberg. That's cool, though.
That's very cool. Look at all these fish! Alright. Um, let's open this up really quick. I want to check my beacons. So we have been to this one now. We've not been to these two, I don't believe. And we're trying to find, there was like a cave system that I found that had some leviathans in it, and I want to get back down there because it looked really cool. But at this point I'm having some trouble even finding it. Don't. Damn it. Danger fish be like, I'm gonna let you finish, but attack! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there's, it seems like there's big, scary, spooky leviathans, right? Like, just like in the first game. But also in this game, there's these, like, smaller guys that are just kind of a nuisance. <laughs> and they try to be all scary with their jaws and chomping away. Yeah, those spooky leviathans. This doesn't seem like where I went down before, but maybe it is... This doesn't really feel right. We're gonna find it. And then I'm gonna go make some beacons. <laughs> so that we don't run into this again when I'm trying to find shit. This guy. some bacon? I could go for some bacon. This area is a whole different color. Well, well, we got a lot of stuff from that last depth, deep dive. So let's, let's check their logs. Let's see if there's any we missed here, yeah. There I was, 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. A reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void. Just me and ocean. Nothing else. Dun dun dun. We can get these these fin upgrades. That's gonna be really nice. And it's time to take down the poster. We've gotta We've got to make some, uh, 
Another locker. We got too much shit. I wonder, will this bigger one fit in the middle? It will. I just need some quartz. Which now, because everything's organized, I can find everything. I see. I have to deconstruct my pot. My empty pot. Inventory full. God damn this game. Alright. Very nice. Well, that just looks weird. Whatever. It has a ton of space in it. Who cares? <laughs> Alright. Dump the titanium. We need two silver to make... The wiring kit. And then we need to make the polyethylene. Polyaniline. Wonderful. And our fins. Very cool. We're so upgraded now. Love it. Let's cook a couple fish. We're gonna grab a couple more med packs, because apparently we need a bunch of those. And then we're gonna go back out, and we're gonna go back down, and we're gonna go as far down as we can go. Maybe we'll try to find some of those other hidden locations. Food. Take a couple waters. We'll take an extra piece of food, too. And... No, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna put the rare stuff in here like I'm supposed to. I'm gonna put the ruby with the ruby. We're gonna put the diamond with the diamond. And we're gonna put the quartz with the quartz. This is like... I have to hold myself to this or this organization will fail. And I just can't let that happen again. Um, uh, yeah, love the upgrades, Allie. Absolutely. Uh, so Jess said, you're relatively new. How am I enjoying streaming life so far? I'm really enjoying it. I, I'm playing more games, which feels really good. Um, I'm meeting a lot of really cool people and that feels awesome, you know? Because being stuck in quarantine all the time, like... I was finding myself just feeling very alone, you know, during during quarantine. Um, and so it was a great outlet for me, uh, or has been the last the last few weeks. Um, I definitely need to remind myself to keep perspective because I'm doing this for fun and it is it's not intended to be anything other than that for me. So I don't need to worry about analytics, you know, all these things that, like, it's really easy to obsess over. So I just have to, like, keep perspective and all's, all's great. Uh, let's see. So... We can turn that off to get rid of some clutter. I wish that these had a depth on them. That would be nice. Where's the distress call origin? Oh, I do remember that. We don't need to go there. Might as well just turn it off, right? I don't know why there's a little plus there. Only discovered streaming watching during quarantine despite being super aware of it uh, as part of your work in games media coverage. Um, a pastime of necessity thanks to social isolation. That's really cool. Yeah, I previously, I followed a lot of streamers on YouTube. And so I would watch their VODs all the time and just had no interest in engaging on the platform 
I was like, I don't want to, I don't feel like I need to talk to anybody. I just kind of want to watch and do my own thing. Um, until I like really saw the value in like being able to chat in someone's stream and, um, yeah. My partner is also a streamer and, um, so kind of like being introduced to everything through them was a big part of it too. You picked up Twitch at the beginning of quarantine too, you can't imagine not being on here. Yeah, like I kind of realized I'm like, I'm spending a little too much time on Twitch. <laughs> it's just very easy to always have a stream up in the background. And I kind of, I like always have like a couple of streams that I'm lurking in and then a few that I'm actively engaging in. Like every day, it's just the routine now. So Matt, you, um, uh, do you stream yourself or, 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 uh, watch? Just watch. I feel like most of the people I've met have, like, also been streamers. But not everybody. It's not for everyone, I don't think. So I know that the pilot, like, this area that I'm trying to get to was over to the east of the pilot's last known location. And it was like right at the edge of one of these areas. Man, I just really don't want to piss that thing off again. I should have, um, maybe we'll try to go here. Yeah, let's try to go here. I want to repair my ship also. Alright. Feels better. You don't stream, but you have an interest. Um, just a matter of setting aside time to set it all up. Gotcha. It's very rewarding, I think. Uh, quarantine has really given a lot of us bad brain vibes. Yeah, that's, that is absolutely certain. Kind of been through here already. I don't think this is the entrance. I think we have to like get somewhere way deeper than this and then like circle around to get to whatever that is. spooky though. I like just don't want to piss anything off. I don't know where we're going, but we're gonna find out. Well. Oh, he's having a rough time. Crashing. And then this is kind of getting back to that dead zone, it looks like. Ugh. Oh, he missed. That's good. Alright, we'll go back up. This doesn't seem like where we want to be. Um, what you love the most about streams is how much streamers and audiences can learn from one another. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Allie, you've uh, learned so much being on Twitch. It's crazy. Yeah. I think the, the biggest thing that I've noticed for myself in terms of things I've learned from streaming is um, I have a lot more confidence just like across the board. Um, like when I'm running a meeting at work, I, I don't have any hesitation speaking in front of a group. Um, which I, I have to do that a lot for work. And before that was really daunting and scary. But now it's sort of like, all right, what do you need me to say and when? I'll be there. Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative. This one? Pretty sure we've been here already, game. Oh, but that's cool. Didn't notice this. Oh, maybe there isn't anything to really see on this part. Let's see. Ugh. Just crashing into everything. If there's... Just trying to find an opening. Maybe I haven't been to this one. This is cool though, like, what? How do I get in? This is like this is so cool, but I can't figure out how to get in. <laughs> like there's there's gotta be stuff in here, right? I can't imagine there's not. Oh. That looks like a door. Oh, maybe we still don't have a laser cutter, but maybe we'll find the last piece we need. Hell yeah, door. It's like crept access. Unless it means this. It probably means. Yeah. Nice, nice. Going in here, I get super, get super nervous, get some anxiety. I don't know what that was. Oh, but there's more of them and I want them. Cut to access. I just need a laser cutter fragment, please. Alright, we'll go back, we'll get some air, and then we're coming back in. Maybe we'll go up. Had to go make breakfast. Sounds good. Enjoy your breakfast. Make garlic spam breakfast rice. That sounds amazing. Enjoy it. Thanks for thanks for hanging out and chatting. Coming in with the raid. I appreciate it. Power cell. We're getting so many more, like, just items in this game when you 
are wandering around, and that's... I like that. That feels more rewarding than just a bunch of food. But man, we really need this laser cutter, huh? I was really hoping there would be more laser cutter fragments. Oh, hey, there's another way in from here. That was neat. I don't, we didn't really get much. Oh, we did get a log, though. What was the log? emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. Gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. Uh, we uh, uh, the water uh. and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. Rude. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the Gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll see this. Yeah, like, please don't, shark thing. I'd, I'd rather if you didn't. I think I forgot to grab the health packs. Bummer. That is unfortunate. God damn it, we need another laser cutter. Is he just like stuck? You can just chill there, bud. Cut to access. All right, well, we got some prawn suit fragments, so that's sweet. We're just gonna have to come back here once we get a laser cutter. There's like little point to exploring this fully until we get that. But also, I want it to be here. <laughs> this is very cool though. I keep finding like weird stuff that I'm not expecting. I'm like trying to get to this this deep cave, right? But I'm just finding, like, this cool shit. I don't even remember what direction I was going when I got here. But I don't think it was this way. 
feel like the environment is so much more varied in this game. Um, yes and no, I think. I, maybe. I feel like the shallow area is very consistent, I guess. Some of these further areas, I think I just haven't seen enough. I think there's like a few different biomes that I just haven't quite found yet. wherever we were when I found that cave, it was not this far out. We know that much. I might have to, like, go check my VOD uh, later tonight to try to find it. Oh, it's only 9.30. I thought it was later. Is it? I don't think it's this. No, we went here earlier. Right. No. This was one of the places I wanted to get to, because I wanted to get some new ones of these. To plant them. Okay. Omega Lab. Actually. Yeah, okay, so this is the burnt out one. We want the one that's inhabited with that lady and her and her dinosaur thing. But let's go back and plant those so that we won't lose them. And we will turn off this beacon. Which beacon is this? Ancient body cache. I don't want to go back to this one. But man, it is so easy to get lost in this game. Like, I really need a map. And I understand why they don't have one, I think, after playing the first game. But I, god damn, I want a map. Um, when I played the first game on my own, uh, not streaming, I actually just, like, looked up a, a non-spoiler map that just, like, showed the biomes so that I kind of had a vague idea of which directions I needed to go in, and it helped so much. But I want to try to play this game as long as I can without external help like that. Just because I know I can do it. This is familiar with all these crates. Yeah. Allie, what are you up to tonight? What are what are you doing? Are you playing anything? While uh Lurking. Hanging out. Lurking is the wrong word, because you're not lurking. You're just chilling. Hell yeah. Friday night? Why not? Just hang out. This looks right. Yeah, here we go. Hell yeah, we did it. Should have gunned it for the other place, but... No, we've been here before. We've been here before, but it's not the inhabited area. 
Or is it? Maybe we just have to go deeper. Hey, Pyro. How was the rest of your stream? Welcome in. Okay. Yes. This is exactly where we want it to be. This is what I was looking for. Because this is where shit starts to get real. Whew, it only took like an hour to find it. Got some more prawn suit shit. I want to look for any more of this stuff. Here we go. Yes! It was good! Got new emotes uploaded? Hell yeah! I have one emote slot for, like, tier 2 that I need a new emote for. And I've been kind of lazy about... about drawing... Uh, drawing it up. Go grab the ship and then come back. Oh, that's so cute! I love the blue one. Only an hour. Allie, you must be getting close to some new emote slots. Little monocle. You need to check. Yeah, let me know. I'm curious. The the way that Twitch does the emote unlocks, I at first I thought that it was uh, over time you would eventually unlock them all, but then realizing that you needed to hit a, min a minimum of like current subs, I think is a little harsh. Like it definitely gives you something more to work towards. Which is cool, but, like, I I am never going to put in the work that is required to make my stream, like, a partnered stream, right? I'm never going to get that threshold. Um, and so, even if I stream for, like, multiple years, never getting some of those perks is kind of lame. But, eh. Twitch can make their own rules. Uh, how? Where am I going? This way. Or is this how I came in? I think that's how I came in. I'm a little lost. Yeah, Twitch be like that, yeah. Alright, we're gonna hug the right wall, and if we always are following to the right, we will find our way. Proceed with caution. An arrival class major is near. Oh no, thank you. No, thank you. Nope, 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 not into that. That's We were just saying hello. This music is like way too chill for what's happening in the game. <laughs> just gotta hope uh, Sugar Mama finds your stream and donates 50 subs. Oh, no, 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 I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm fucking dead. Sugar mama, sugar daddy. Por que los dos? No los dos. Uh, 
Let's just turn the light off. Maybe, maybe it won't see us. Oh, it, it still sees us. Let's at least store some of these things that I don't want to lose. Depleted rod reactor. You may have found one of those. One person has given over 130 subs. God damn. That's really cool. Stop it! Knock it off! It doesn't really like me being here, huh? Alright, let's just let's just fucking gun it then. Out of here. I want to scan this though. Okay. It's always it's it's always so wonderful when you find those really nice supportive community members, right? Like because you're, you're trying to make a, a, a job out of this. Like, this is your, your full-time deal, right, Pyro? Don't- stop it! I'm not into this guy. This, this guy is a bit of a dick. Maybe I'm, like, not supposed to be down here, but also... I can go up to a thousand meters. Torpedo arm. Alright, we got the torpedo arm. We're good with that, too. What we really need is just the prawn suit itself. Ooh, I want that. I thought I saw something spooky. Twitch is a combination, advertising and work time. The real business is getting clients for commissions. Yeah, that makes sense. can't mine that, but... What is this stuff? Let's go scan everything. Can we scan this? Nope. We can probably scan this. Nope. Huh. I wonder what else there is to do here. Like, lots of materials. 
lots of rare stuff that we can mine, but we don't even really need it yet. Gonna get some more food, sounds good. Yeah, I think tonight I'm either gonna bake something after the stream, or I'm gonna make myself like a brownie in a mug. These caves are crazy. What? No thanks! I am not interested in anything you are selling. There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. There's something of value nearby. Yeah, that roar is unpleasant. Also, like, all of our food is gonna rot, but this is, like, way too much worth it. <laughs> Because I don't know how we're gonna find this again. This is like... Ooh, this music. What the fuck? Actually, wait, can I just drive the ship in here? Oh, pff, no. No, you cannot. Thunk. Let's repair the ship before we go. Ship, keep summer safe. Oh, it's, it's, we can walk. I don't even know what to say. This is just so fucking cool. Like, look at this shit. This looks like- I feel like I'm playing Horizon now. Horizon Zero Dawn. Ah, oh, it's our little robot crabs. Bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I- I think it could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. <laughs> Is that it? We found we found the next thing we needed to scan. The architect organs are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material containing a variety of subsystems. The heart is particularly complex centerpiece in this biological uh, technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects of the alien corpse while also functioning as primary energy source for the cybernetic neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredible computational power, the architect brain. No respiration or digestive systems appear to be present, suggesting a life that is fed entirely sustained electrical energy in a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. In spite of its intricate design, the instant, um, insistence on incorporating biological components exposes the architect body to possibility of disease. Hmm. 
Magnetite. Okay. Yeah, I want a little robot like one of these guys. They're so cute. Prawn suit. Oh, did we get everything we need for the prawn suit? Because that's sweet. I mean, I don't know if we even need it yet, but it's cool looking. I do wish I knew which... Uh... Oops. Uh, how did I get here? This way? No, that's the way I came from. Oh, it's here. It's a little hard to see the the, the corridors. It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Hmm. We're getting a lot of lore dumps from the first game. That's really cool. I'm also finding a lot of this, and I want to take any that I find. Because it's going to be hard to get back here. Anytime I see one of these, I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> Gimme. Any others while I'm right here? Okay. Crystal hunting, yeah. How could you not? Oh, I dislike the sound. Can't say I have any idea how we're going to get out of here, but... saw those two and we're, we're leaving them. I don't need it. I'm not gonna buy it. Yeah, they just- that thing comes out of nowhere.
still get clammed. Oh my god, pad clam! <laughs> oh, I love you guys. That is just like a straight up second one. Nope, 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 nope. God damn it. I've got to get out and repair. If I don't repair, the ship will explode the next time one of them gets me. I even have the light off, just like hoping they won't see me. That's not working. Just let me through. Just let me through. Just... That's where we want to go. getting out of here. We're done with this place. We're done with these fish. We don't need it. Oh, phew. Alright. I feel like we're safe now. I feel like we made it through the worst. I don't think we need to scan this. We'll go up. I think we're good. Oh! And here's that lady's house. Okay, we've come full circle. Let's see if she has anything else to say to us before we go back. Maybe she has some food, too. Because all our food went bad again, I'm pretty sure. You're back with leftover pizza? Hell yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this friend. This adorable... Ooh. New technology acquired. Sea trunk perimeter defense module. I can't believe I missed that the first time I was here. Ready? Hi! Hey, bud. You're so cute. Isn't he cute? Also, I feel like there's a way to get past him. And I think that I just need, like... Like a piece of fish or something. If entering Snowstalker territory is necessary, sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter the attacks. So I tried the flashlight and that didn't work. So maybe I just can't get past him. Allie, you don't think he's cute? I would I would get like two of them as as my bodyguard pet dog things. I would absolutely adore this as a pet. He will not let me buy, though. Oh. I want to scan that, and I can't. Alright, well, I guess we'll leave. He wants us to fuck off. want to get in there. One day. One day we're gonna get in there. Alright. I think this is gonna be the way out.
maybe. I get so claustrophobic in these areas. Oh, here we go. Oh, phew. Um, I get so claustrophobic just trying to, like, figure out where the exits are. It freaks me out a little bit. Also, I feel like that artifact is down there. I think it has to be. But I kind of want to recoup and go back to the house. Drop off some stuff so we're definitely not going to lose it. So this is... I should write this down. Northwest, so it's going to be southeast. I'm writing it down so I don't forget. Of home for the lady. Lady base entrance. Perfect. I just need to start writing stuff down so I have my bearings. So I'm not just aimlessly wandering as much as I was. Like, there was this other area that had this crazy plant. Plant jellyfish anchor thing. And I'm definitely going to want to go back there at some point. But I don't know where it is in relation to where I am right now. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Um, the other thing that I kind of want to figure out is I don't know if I'll be able to see it. So I don't think we can go to that mountain. I tried and it wouldn't let me. Um, there were a couple other, like, island areas, but it seemed kind of mixed on whether or not you could actually go up onto them. One of them you could, and the game, like, wants me to go back. I have, like, a task to do there, but it hasn't been brought up again since then, so I'm not sure if I really need to anytime soon. There's like a antenna or something, a scanner that I need to turn off. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, cool. Good ship. You did good. Ooh, where's our rare stuff? We need a new rare locker. Rare locker number two. Just put all that in there. Great. Alright, let's go back because I almost forgot that we've got perishables that are probably all gone. Can't enter here too steep. God damn it. Maybe I can plant that. These probably long gone. Ugh. Damn it. Damn it. I could try the inside one again. Oh, I can grow this one. So maybe it's just these ones that I can't um, plant. Maybe you can only eat them. Maybe I have to, like, cut up a plant. Alright, I guess I'll drop them. 
such a waste. This looks pretty, though. We could go back up to the uh, land and get some of the fruit trees that are up there. a little better. Alright, so if I was gonna build a new room a large room we still haven't made this like control room or oh my god it's huge All right, what is in the way? Does it just need a platform? Because I'll make a platform wherever you want. Need more lead? I always am out of lead. back here that's like I don't know why like further down is an issue but higher up is totally fine Just start building above the water. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I could. I actually could. Titanium. It could be because I have stuff kind of blocking the, the path. That might be, that might be the reason why. I think usually it'll still let you, like, start to build stuff. Is it? It's this one, right? Yeah, so let's just deconstruct a couple things. I hope that the plant can just stay there. Oh, this is going to be annoying to move, though. I need another titanium. Just drop everything. Drop it all. Maybe that'll help. Maybe. Maybe. Please. What if I did a multi-purpose room? I wish it would tell me what the uh, obstruction was. Like, what's... I can try finishing this uh, platform. 
might help. I just need more lead again. one Just a bit of lead. I should be grabbing salt too as I'm seeing it, but whatever. not seeing any. <laughs> I thought I'd see something. Grab some more oxygen. Keep going up. have to like go to another area to really start looking around for some resources that I'm missing. the surface look like right now. Pretty cloudy. Here's one, here's one. Yeah, all right. That's two. God damn. Place is hella good. Yeah, it's like, the areas are so pretty. So, so pretty. No question. Okay. It's not connected. Man, 
All right. Let's try something else. Nope, nope, I want four. And we're gonna deconstruct. I have a different idea. It's, it's dumb, but that's Oxygen. what we're doing. Welcome aboard, Captain. Come on. Maybe we need the titanium first. I really wish it would tell you what was wrong. That one it clipped in for a second and then was just obstructed. I don't know why. Let's try it now. Sure. I guess we need the plasteel ingot first, anyways. We're gonna have such a huge ass base. Steel, we need two titanium. And two lithium. And we need four to make the two ingots. All right. Oh, stretch. I'm just eager to like have a big room, you know? Uh, let's just go out. We're gonna need to make a water filtration machine anyways, and that's gonna be big. Is this right? Yeah, I want it to be coming in at the middle. Yeah, that makes sense. God damn, how do we make I'm tempted to do the glass dome. We'll see. The glass dome. Four enameled glass. How many enameled glass can we make? We're doing it. We did get past the clam. The clam guys. They were obnoxious though, not a fan. Uh, 
Oh, I don't have lead. I'm not going to be able to find lead right now. Sorry, we'll come back to the glass later. <laughs> because that's going to be a pain in the ass to get lead, apparently. But yeah, those goddamn... Those goddamn clam things. I'm gonna leave them a, a bad review on OnlyFans. I guess I'll keep this all. And then where's all the rare stuff is in here? It's fine, I'll just put all that in there. I just the lead too, who cares? It's fine. Yes. Yes. Oh, I just remembered that we can eat these. Oh, they don't do much. Never mind. That's a waste of time. Let's go check out our new big ass room. That is inconvenient. All right. Yeah, look at all this space. We can have a party in here. Think of how many hot tubs we could set up in this room. I'm thinking ahead. Yeah, room for activities. Hot tub activities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Alright. What time is it? It is 10.21. I think this is a good place to stop. I am a little bit tired. It has been a long week. I may be back tomorrow. Um, I will probably be back tomorrow. Um... But we'll see how it shakes out. It'll be an earlier stream if I do stream tomorrow. Thanks, Orc. Thanks for hanging out, Orc and Allie. I, I really, it, it, it really makes me happy to see you guys in chat. So, so thank you. Uh, let's see who's online. I also have to start uploading my VODs for Subnautica to YouTube. I've been slacking on that a little bit. Let's, let's go hot tubs, what? <laughs> See you later, Pyro. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, uh, hot tubs, it, we're, we'll make some hot tubs in our, in our Subnautica base, and, uh, it'll be awesome. Yeah, we're gonna go raid somebody. Let me pull up the raid. <laughs> 